Hello there, I'm Koosh. And gamers, I'm back. Now before I jump into it, Timmy ho ho. Now at the moment, I am in the Bessie lab. So I saw something in the patch notes I want to talk about. Actually, two things in the patch notes that really stood out to me. First thing I want to briefly touch on is, is there's been times where I'll do a mission for Bessie and then I'll like speed her over to the person to turn it into. And then I'm on my speeder. So when I turn it in, it doesn't recognize that I have Bessie and then I don't get progress for the mission. Very annoying. But I saw in the patch notes that they fixed that. Hell yeah. So now we can be speedered and turn stuff in. Now, the other thing I'm going to spend a little bit more time on. And normally I would queue while I'm talking about this, but I got that little thing where it's just not, the rule's not updating. Now I've been complaining about how much I hate weekly caps and the whole RNG thing I think is really stupid about what training modules you get. But I think it's very important that if you do complain, bitch, whine about something, but then it is like fixed or addressed, I need to give credit where credit is due. So what they did is on this vendor, you can purchase individual specific modules, which thank God that is awesome because now it just eliminates another level of RNG that can just add another aspect of annoyance. So thank you, whoever made that decision, whoever implemented that, thank you, and God bless you. But now I do want to say one thing that maybe my math's wrong, maybe I'm wrong about this, but so it's 30 prototype data to get it. Now, prototype data is one of our weekly currencies that we're capped on, and we get capped at 300. Here's my thinking. I need to complete five daily modules for three specific areas each week. So for this week, it was Yavin 4, Kesson's Landing, and Osis. So for right here, I completed five Kesson Landing modules. To actually get credit for this, I have to upgrade it at the little person behind me. But it costs 50 to upgrade. So my biggest problem with the RNG, I'm rambling here, I'm sorry. I hope I'm making sense. My biggest problem with the RNG was it can put you a week behind. So by them adding it to the vendor, I was like, hell yeah. But because of the currency, if you miss out on that, you're still going to be a week behind because then you won't be able to fully upgrade. So we get 300 prototype data. This costs 50. This costs 50. 100. This costs 50. This costs 50. 200. This costs 50. This costs 50. That's 300 for my weekly cap. So say I do buy the one I'm missing. I will only have 270 uh, prototype com. So then I can't upgrade anyway. It, it we're right there jokes aside i am glad that they added that to the vendor though because just because there's a weekly cap you can have 600 total so it is possible that you have some carryover but me personally i need to be very careful with how i'm spending my comms because i'm only getting 300 and i need all that 300 to be able to progress to the next level it also appears now that these aren't random these used to be random but it's manan McKeb and Section X. So I'm assuming that's next week. That's kind of cool. I guess we can just get those for free because these have always been free. So maybe everything I said didn't make sense. I don't know. I just logged in. And then Lane Vizsla is where you upgrade everything. So it's like, this will be 50 prototype data. This will be 50 prototype. So like all six of them are 50 prototype data with 50 of the corresponding uh, spec that you're in. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, Bessie. I think it was level seven or eight. Uh, it was one of those. Rather than doing like daily areas, it was like a mission in itself where like something was going haywire with Bessie and we needed to go find this like droid hunter. I didn't mean to click on that. And then it was kind of like a cool little, it was like a story aspect rather than just running around doing random dailies. I really enjoyed that. I do want to say again, I was very happy to see those changes in the patch notes. I, to be fair, I didn't read through like there could be more. Those, those were the two that just like stood out to me. And I was like, yes, thank you for that. And pop. It's not telling me what I'm queuing as. I'm going to see if I can figure out what's going on with my role selection. I may have to swap tunes again, but I will let you know. And I'll see you when the queue pops. If it ever pops. Well, gamers, we got a pop and it's easy. PZ Hammer Station. So let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Hello. Somebody commented on my last video when I was having that bug and then mentioned just like swapping phase with like the UI change. I did that and that seemed to do the trick. 
You just wanted to say that what your role is set to when you queue. I've noticed the bug takes place is with when you queue and it just like doesn't say anything about your role. Good news is I have scavenging and slicing. Bad news is it's like a thousand degrees outside and it feels like I am playing on the surface of the sun. Don't you take this from me. Okay, thank you. Whew. It's hotter than Hades! Oh my, but you, Oh, <laughs> they got smoked. <laughs> oh, do a little cleave here. Oh, I probably don't have AOE either. But I have Colto and energy shield. Easy enough. I am the tank now. If I don't get cleansed, uh, we're, we're probably dead here. Remember when I said we had hammer station and it was easy peasy? I lied! When the boss cast the laser cleanse the buff. Perfect time for gear check. 343. 331. 341? 343. Do you remember that one time when I said I just say things and then the opposite happens? I present to you Exhibit A. Shit! Oh, and somebody just to add insult to injury. Someone pulled the side trash. Oh boy, was I wrong. The healer left. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say a word. All right, let's go to allies. Need a healer to please Q Master Mode Flashpoint in progress. First boss hammer, hammer station lockout. All right, need a healer to please Q Master Mode Flashpoint in progress. First boss hammer station lockout. They pulled! They pulled! I'm not there! It's cursed! Hey, <laughs> Shalom. No way. Yeah! Yep! I taunted, so hopefully I can take some stacks for them. Alright, Colto, let's see what you got. Oh, I just realized... Uh, I'm stupid. We have a Merc who can just cleanse. Thank you for taunting back. <laughs> I'm stupid. We just have a Merc cleansing. I didn't need to taunt there. Easy peasy. Companions do get it done. Someone said, do we get a Timmy Ho Ho iced coffee for queuing? I said, hell yeah, we do. Or you do. I mean, I got mine. Don't worry, I got slicing. I'm gonna need to take a shower after this. It's so hot. You get scorch, you get scorch, you get scorch. Easy peasy. Our tank is definitely playing slam spam. <laughs> Music to my ears. Please let me get my stacks. Oh, thank you. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't know my rockets, damn it. I'll just stand here a little bit. Damn it. Oh. I didn't see that one behind me. That, that could have been bad. Oh. oh, they're playing Arsenal. They got this. Actually, wait, they're playing Arsenal. Never mind. All right. Uh, so far, so good. Easy peasy, straightforward. Hammer station, by the way. I'm going to save my DCDs for defense this time. <laughs> Except for power yield, of course. Of course. Easy peasy. All one shots. Thank you for the group. Well, team, we got there. Easy, easy peasy. Thank you to the two others who stayed and didn't abandon the group. But most importantly, and as always, I love you all so much. And thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.